we'll go ahead and start this week's market update. I'll give you the overall Texas view. I am a little sad and literally as I was starting the meeting at 6 p.m., some of you guys saw me on my uh, phone and probably thought, wow, that's a little unprofessional. She's like on her phone uh, while she's doing a presentation. But the reason why I was on my phone is because I was going to har.com to be able to get the latest market stats, which are normally out and last month they were out by the 10th of the month. Today is the 13th of the month and they're still not out. So I was literally thinking like, well, maybe it's six o'clock and I just checked it right now, it's still not out. So basically what that means is we're gonna be looking at the April stats as we go through, except for Dallas. Dallas reported last week, so we have the Dallas stats early. But the roll up for Texas is here. So you'll see the uh, sales price last month was 417,000 down 3% year over year. Close sales, which is in the middle center, was down 16% year over year. Uh, so I'm, I am, I, get, I know that many of you guys are like seeing this down 3% number and probably thinking, well, this is probably not the time to get into real estate investing. And I will tell you guys that yes, you are wrong. Uh, I will tell you guys when I st first started investing 20 years ago, it was right after the dot-com bust. Okay, so I cut my teeth in a down market. You can make money in up markets, you can make down, money in down markets, you can make money in sideways markets. You make money when interest rates are low, you can make money when interest rates were high. When I first started investing, interest rates were higher than they are today. So if there's any whining about interest rates, I'm sorry, I, 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 the smallest violin, sounds like the smallest violin in the world and no one, no one feels sorry for you, so I'll say that. Uh, but I am super impressed and super encouraged that in spite of the fact that we have more than doubled interest rates in the last year, uh, year and a half, that our, our, uh, our sales price is only down 3%. This is actually something that should be celebrated big time uh, because this is, this, is, this is pretty incredible, I think, uh, because I've seen it where it was down worse uh, during the Great Recession, as an example, even though it bounced back, to real, bounced back really quickly. And the Dallas market, so this is the May numbers, uh, so those uh, Dallas markets already been reported. Uh, average sales price, 512500 down 4% year over year. Closed sales last month for Dallas, only down 2%. They've got the strongest market right now in terms of uh, closed sales being only down 2%. Pending sales, our closest leading indicator to what closed sales will be next month, down 6%. Where's everybody going? They're leasing. So leases are up 20% year over year in Dallas. Would-be buyers are leasing. Would-be sellers are turning their uh, 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 for sale signs, uh, for rent, turning them into for rent signs. Uh, lease price in Dallas up 2% year over year. Houston, uh, which again, I just checked literally one moment ago on my phone just to see if it was reporting because I want to leave you here with the uh, latest numbers. It'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, but the average price, 419000 down only 1.3% year over year. Uh, sales, however, were down 21%, but pending sales actually look pretty good. So the mode, the, the spot that we're in right now is now we're going to be, we're about to start, you know, comparing May versus May and June versus is June. We were already seeing a slowdown in sales in uh, May and June. We did not see that slowdown in price. So the fact that Houston's only down 1.3%, again, is actually something that should be celebrated. Uh, where are people going? Again, in Houston, lease listings are up 15%. Lease prices are up 13.5%. And new lease listings, again, these are the people that would have sold their homes, but now are saying, can't beat them, join them, right? I'll hold it another year until sales prices go up another 10% instead of down 1.3. New lease listings are up 19.5%. In the San Antonio market, the average sales price 373,000, down 4% year over year. Sales down 13% year over year. Leases in San Antonio only down, I'm sorry, only up 1%. Lease price only up 2%. Um, and in Austin, Austin saw the biggest run up in terms of average price. 
and it's seeing the biggest rundown in terms of average price. So Austin was pulling up the curve in Texas uh, the same time last year. Austin is pulling down the curve in Texas this time this year. So the sales price, 591,000 down 13% year over year. Literally, uh, we were at about $648,000 for the average sales price in Austin last year. So no one feels sorry for Austin at 591,000 uh, because it's about $100,000 higher than uh, uh, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, kind of on average. Uh, closed sales are getting hit harder in, in Austin as well, down 19%. Um, close to ask price in Austin at uh, the same time last year was well over 100%. So it was actually like close to about 105%. So if it was listed for 100, it sold for 105%. Uh, this year, if it was listed for 100, it sold for $93,900. So Austin's taken the bigger hit of the um, of the Texas markets. 